Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Today I thought we could do another get ready with me. I've been really just wanting to do more of these videos, like just playing with makeup, sitting down, chatting with you guys. So I hope you like this kind of <laughs> video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up and tell me in the comments so I know you're enjoying the videos that I'm making. Uh, and yeah, I've got some water here, trying to cut back on the coffee. Uh, so grab a drink, grab a snack, and grab your makeup if you wanna get ready together. I want to do a spring makeup look, so yeah, I'm ready for the spring looks. I'm ready for the fresh skin. I also have some new products that I'm super excited to play with today. Ooh, some Fenty Beauty, some things I got for Christmas that I'm just now <laughs> getting around to play with without further ado let's get into this get ready with me all right so let's just get into it um i'm gonna skip primer today i just don't really feel like doing primer but i did moisturize my skin all my skincare on the face uh so let's do foundation i'm gonna be using the flower beauty get real serum foundation if you guys missed my full face of flower beauty go check that video out i've been really liking this foundation it's very natural on the skin and i don't know it just looks really pretty i'm using the shade uh, shell l0 which i think is the lightest shade they have i'm gonna use my elf squishy sponge i've been really loving this sponge lately it's just so soft and it blends product like i've noticed since i started using this sponge I love like how large it is, like it covers a large surface of your skin really quickly. So how are you guys doing? I am, again, kind of feeling a little bit under the weather. I was actually really close to saying just not filming today. I don't want to like miss an opportunity to film some extra videos, some extra content because I'm trying to be a lot better about not being behind on work. <laughs> I'm actually filming videos in February for March, so it's kind of weird like trying to like talk to you guys, but I'm kind of like, I'm in the past <laughs> and this is going up in the future, but I hope you guys had a great February. I can't believe how fast like this year is just flying by. It's really scary. Like, it's true what your parents say, like once you hit like your 30s, it just every year just flies by within a blink of an eye, it's crazy. So for today's look, I really want just kind of peachy, fresh skin. I love doing like peachy colors, pinks, corals for spring and summer. I just love how it looks on the skin. So for concealer, I'm gonna use the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect. I'm gonna use this under my eyes, but I'm also gonna use this, I've got a little guy that popped up out of nowhere. So I'm gonna put a little bit on that spot. It's really the only spot I have. I'm gonna let that sit there for a minute or two. And we're gonna color correct under the eyes. Still testing this out. I don't know how I feel about it, but <laughs> it's the uh, Flower Beauty Color Corrector in Light Peach. I saw someone, I can't remember her name. If I remember, I'll put it here on the screen. But she took a little bit of this and mixed it in with her eye cream because this isn't like super, super emollient and creamy like I would like it to be. Uh, so I might try that next time. I'm not going to do that today, but I'm just going to take a little bit of this. But yeah, I do feel like this is more, it's just not as hydrating as I would like it to be because I feel like color correctors should have a little bit more moisture to them because you are going to layer something over top been really struggling with, con I don't know what it is, but concealer just doesn't want to stay on my skin. And to blend out the concealer, I'm going to use that same BH brush. I don't know if you can still get this or not, but I've had these sculpting brushes for years. And I'm just going to tap that concealer in. I've been watching a lot of makeup artists on like YouTube and stuff just to see how they apply concealer. A lot of them use like a brush. I think it's always fun to try different like makeup techniques and I'm definitely wanting to try different things and different techniques and really play more. I think sometimes, which I'm sure is common, we all get stuck in a makeup rut <laughs> and we're just so set in our ways with like application and the products we use and how we blend things out. 
I love watching how other people apply makeup and maybe trying out a different technique, you know, and just see what works. I really like this brush. It's blending out concealer really nice. All right, and then for eyeshadow primer, I'm going to use the Gimme Glow Cosmetics eyeshadow primer in parchment. This is like so pigmented, like one dot on each eyelid, full coverage. It really cancels out your redness, pigmentation, and I like that it's it's easy to blend and it just melts into the skin and then it dries down and it kind of like sets into place. So far, I like it. Sometimes I've noticed I get creasing with my shadow, so I don't know if it's the eyeshadow or something else. So I definitely need to maybe try it with an eyeshadow palette that I know, you know, I, I don't get creasing, you know, but I think the key with this is just a tiny bit. I just can't stop looking at my nails because this color is Robin from Zoya. It's the most beautiful Robin egg blue. Actually, my husband picked it out. <laughs> It's such a pretty color. It really is. I mean, if this doesn't scream spring, I don't know what does. All right, and then for setting powder, I'm using the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. And this is in my Project Pan. <laughs> if you guys missed my Project Pan update, I can link it below. But I am trying really hard to use up the products I have. Do a little bit of setting here. So I usually do like my face, brows, eyes, then lips. I don't know, that's just the order that I do things. So let's move on to bronzer and I am so excited you guys. I finally, finally get to try this. This has been a really hyped up product for a long time. I know it's nothing new. Again, not super brand new, but it's new to me. So I actually got a few things for Christmas. I know, I, this I'm so behind. <laughs> so these were some of my stocking stuffers that the hubby got me because Sephora was doing that special like 20% off for everyone, even if you're a beauty insider, which I've never been at the top of the Sephora thing. I've always been like the, the lowest one. So I was super excited to take advantage of that, or he took advantage of that, and got me some stocking stuffers. So this is the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like this beautiful gold. It's very reflective, kind of like a mirror. It says cream with Fenty Beauty on the front. I originally was going to get the powder bronzer from Fenty, but the lightish, the light shade that I needed was already sold out, so I'm like, all right. Which one should I get? And Jamie Page raves about Butta Biscuit. So this is the shade Butta Biscuit. It actually is called that. B-U-T-T-A Biscuit. Butta Biscuit. <laughs> this is shade 02. I can open it. <laughs> oh, okay, it's a little tricky to open. Ooh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Now I actually have swatched this. That's why you see little lines in the pan. Let's take the sticker off. You know it. I love that feeling of a brand new product and just, uh, that's a nice color. It's not too, it doesn't look like it leans really orange. It looks like a true brown, like a nice bronzy brown. My new favorite brush for applying cream bronzer and cream blush has been this brush right here. It's from BH Cosmetics. I ordered a few brush sets during their Black Friday sale. This is from the festival brush set I think this is the number one brush and this is amazing it's nice and angled it's pretty dense but it's very thick and fluffy at the same time and I don't know something about the shape of this it just fits so nicely on the cheek and we're just gonna dab this on I hope this isn't orangey on me that is a really nice color you guys I really like how this looks on me. And I like that this isn't drying down super quick on the back of my hand to where I can keep dipping back in and really build up the color. I told you guys this year I want to try more cream bronzer, so this was definitely on my list of cream bronzers to try this year. And I'm finally getting to try it. Oh, okay, this looks so good, you guys. Okay, I feel like this is a perfect color for me all year round. Like, it's not too warm, but it's not too cool. Oh my gosh. New favorite. It is a possibility. All right, so for blush today, I thought I would pull out my one and only Melt Cream Blush. This is the Cream Blush Light in Honey Thief. This color is so pretty for spring and summer. 
it's like the perfect like peachy coral pink I might have picked up a little too much but this is such a pretty color for spring oh it's just so pretty like it just gives you that fresh glow all right so for highlighter today i thought i would try to play around with this bh cosmetics spotlight and highlight palette so stunning <laughs> there's so many really pretty colors in here and i'm thinking of maybe using this like peachy shade right here i'm gonna use my bh cosmetics rounded highlighter brush i'm really loving this with highlighter now these are very intense so i'm going in with a very very small amount and just build it up really buff that into the skin oh my gosh this is so pretty yeah this definitely goes very well with this look i have planned today all right moving on to the eyes i'm gonna be using the iconic london day to slay eyeshadow palette and i mentioned this in my makeup declutter when i was going through all my eyeshadow palettes and when i saw this i was like oh I really do need to get this out and use it. This is, to me, in my opinion, the perfect like spring or anytime you want to do like a very soft glam look. There's tons of like peachy colors in here. Not orange, not like super coral, but like peachy tones, which I don't really have in any other eyeshadow palette. So here's just a look at the palette. I'm going to start with Peaches and Dreams, which I mean, come on, that's the perfect... <laughs> That's the vibe we're going for today. And I'm just going to start applying this to my crease. This is the perfect soft peachy transition color. Oh, I just love it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the same color to lower lash line all across. All right, now I'm gonna take the shade Bellini, which is another matte right here. It's a little bit deeper, more like that peachy. But again, it's not like a bright in your face color i definitely like more toned down muted shades kind of stamping this into the crease to add a little bit more definition that is pretty and these blend like a dream uh, i would love to try more from this brand i don't know if they're a little bit difficult if you're in the states because it is a uk brand i don't know if they're available in the us or not i'll have to check into it but again i'm gonna take the same this is the J4 brush. It's just like a stubby pencil brush. I'm going to take Bellini and I'm going to run this along the lower lash line as well. Now for shimmer, we have tons of options, but I'm definitely going to go with Rags to Riches. It's a really pretty shimmery peach, this color here. My eyeshadow C brush from e.l.f. And this is going to go all over the lid. And I think for the inner corner, I'm going to take Peach Fizz. <laughs> I love the name is Peach Fizz. So we're gonna tap this on the lid. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Oh, I'm just gonna take a brush and just blend the edges of that shimmer. So I'm gonna take Peach Fizz and apply that to the inner corner just to add some brightness. This is the F16 brush from the AOA Studio. All right, so for the waterline, I'm gonna use the, the Balm Cosmetics, this like nude liner just to add a little brightness and then for the upper lash line i always like to add a little whether it's eyeshadow or a pencil liner and i'm going to use this brown one from flower beauty this is also my project pan I'm trying really hard to use this up this is in the shade bronzed out so i'm just going to take a little bit of this and smudge this along my lashes like right at the root of my lashes. I'm going to take the Jkissa J6 brush. I really like this flat liner. And before this sets, I'm just going to really smudge this out, make it look soft and smoky. So I'm so excited to try this little Urban Decay Hall of Fame mini set. Again, completely new to me. I've heard amazing things about the Perversion, Perversion Mascara. Uh, the cla the super famous 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in Perversion as well. And then the Urban Decay All-Nighter Setting Spray. I haven't tried any of these products. Can you believe that? I know it's pretty strange for someone doing beauty stuff here on YouTube to not try those products, but uh, it comes in this little wrapped up pouch. 
We've got a decent sized mascara, eye pencil, and a little mini setting spray. So cute. So I've heard really good things about the all nighter spray. It's like holy grail for a lot of people. I'm a little nervous because I think this does have alcohol in it. So you do get one fluid ounce. So I think this is enough to like test it out if I want to buy full size. All right, let's spray it this way first. Hmm. Ooh, smells good. So let's do it. Urban Decay All Nighter. Never used it before in my life. <laughs> All right, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like my skin looks kind of glowy with that spray, which is interesting because I think there is alcohol in here, but it actually, it looks pretty good. We'll have to see how it helps with like longevity, but yeah, it doesn't have a super strong fragrance like I was anticipating, but yeah, smells nice, nice, even mist. Uh, looks good so far. <laughs> we'll see if uh, it's worth the hype, but I really like it so far, just my first impressions. I don't know what is wrong with me today. I'm like, I keep forgetting to do my brows, so I'm gonna do my brows really quickly. I'm gonna use my favorite ColourPop Brow Boss pencil, and I might play with this new NYX Thick It Stick It Thickening Brow Mascara. I've been playing around with this for a while now. I have Cool Ash Brown. It's a little too heavy for my liking, and it's a very thick product. Um, it kind of makes my brows feel crusty, which I don't like that heavy feeling of brow product in my hair. All right, let's try the Perversion Mascara. And I really like the wand. It's a bristly brush, so it's not a rubber wand. And it looks like a really densely packed brush. So I like how the brush looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. I've been really loving these Tweezer Man, Tweezer Man. <laughs> Uh, eyelash curlers. I ordered them from Ulta. They were on sale and I am in love. What a difference it makes having a good solid pair of, of eyelash. I keep saying tweezers. A good pair of eyelash curlers. I'm not saying the one dollar ones aren't, you know, doable, but my lashes are so finicky. I don't have much lashes at all and they're really hard to curl and stay curled. So this has been a game changer. Okay, I love how that applied. I am very picky about mascaras because like I mentioned many times in my videos, my lashes are so stubborn. It's hard for them to hold a curl. I don't have super, I was not blessed with good lashes, I envy people who have really long lashes and can make mascara look like you're wearing falsies. That's why I tend to wear false lashes because when I put mascara on, you really can't tell that I'm wearing mascara, but wow. So that is one coat and I really like how it looks like natural. It doesn't look uh, like too caked on. All right, so I applied about two, maybe even like three coats top and bottom wow i did have to play around and kind of like comb through with my little eyelash comber first impressions i really really like it so i'm curious to see if it's going to hold my curl all day is it going to flake really bad i don't know we'll have to see all right so moving on to lips i have this fenty beauty it's like a glossy set that I got for Christmas. I think this is such a great way to try a brand is just getting like a little like a mini set. Ooh, look at that. Presentation A+. Plus. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is so pretty. I don't even want to use these. First of all, love the packaging. I cannot help myself. Okay, so this is the cream one. I don't think I'm gonna go with this one today because this is more pink. Oh, that is so pretty. Yeah, that's definitely not the color I'm going for today, but that is so pretty. I cannot wait to use it. <gasps> oh, I love a good creamy, like cream, glossy lip. That is stunning. That's in the shade Candy Milk. Okay, and then we have the three little mini gloss bombs. Oh my gosh. So this one is Champ Stamp Fantasy. Ooh, this one has like 
really pretty like gold and silver like champagne glitter oh my god that smells incredible it smells like some kind of candy like those strawberry shortcake dolls you remember those ones that smelled you could like rub its head or something <laughs> like it's giving me like strawberry shortcake oh my gosh barbie dream house vibes i don't know why that smells so good i don't know which color to go for oh my gosh that is pretty that's definitely more of a clear gloss with a little bit of shimmer oh this is fenty glow fantasy an orangey coral Ooh, I think I might have to go with that one today. Can you see the colors in here? It's like a dark maroon, but there's like gold and green and purple. Okay, that is an interesting color. I can't get over the scent. So those are the three shades. All right, let's try that orange one. Fenty Glow Fantasy. I don't know, should I put a lip liner on? I feel like I probably should do a little lip liner. I'm gonna take Earth, also my Project Pan from BH. I'm gonna add a little bit of lip liner, just a little. All right, let's try this gloss. I'm so excited. It, smell it smells so delicious. <gasps> Ooh, yeah, I think this is the color for today. <gasps> oh, that's so pretty. Okay, that's so creamy. Mmm. Oh my god, they smell so good. <laughs> smells so good. Not sticky at all, but I do notice it has that kind of formula that I wonder if after it wears off throughout the day, if it, it leaves behind a little bit of a stickiness. I hope that I really love the formula so far. Loving the scent, loving the packaging, loving the applicator. Such a pretty gloss too. Really glossy, nice wash of color, not too pigmented. I'm curious to try this one out because this is very, very opaque, unlike the original Glossy Moms. All right, guys, so here is the completed look. I love how this turned out. This is exactly what I was going for today. Just really fresh, simple look. I love how the skin turned out. I love the eye look. Very soft, peachy, glowy. I am just... I'm loving it. Definitely excited to play with these new products. I was really impressed with the lip glosses, with the cream bronzer. It looks so natural on the skin. Really enjoyed the mascara and setting spray from Urban Decay. So yeah, some new things, playing with some old products, some new products. And I do like a lot of drugstore products, but I also like to try higher end makeup and kind of mix things up a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. As always, I'll have all the products I'm wearing down below in the description box. So make sure to check that out. And if you're new here, please subscribe. I'd love to have you join the family. I post on Tuesdays and Fridays every week. And when I'm not here on YouTube, you can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, all that good stuff. My links are always down below. I'm really excited for all of the spring makeup and colors and I don't know. I'm just excited. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Tell me, oh, will you